In this tutorial, we're going to look at adding video to a WordPress blog. Now, this task is a lot simpler than most people might well think. So if you log into your admin dashboard, okay. Now, what we will look at is the post that we made in the last tutorial. So if we just click edit, okay. So what I will look to do is maybe just add a wee bit here, to see how to create simple affiliate redirect links press play on the video below ok so what I'm going to look to do is to what's called embed a video into your WordPress blog post. Now to do that I'm going to go to YouTube and access one of the previous video tutorials I had done for one of my other blogs. So just bear with me a moment. Okay, so it could be YouTube, could be Viddler, um, but the important thing is that what we're going to look to do is to embed this video here that you can see on YouTube into your WordPress blog post. So over here on the right you can see the URL for the video which you could maybe embed but just a click link out but what we're going to look to do is to embed this video so you can see the embed code so we'll just go right along click copy and we'll go back to the dashboard okay so we're back at the dashboard click again paste and you'll see all this sort of code which probably won't make too much sense to you okay and we will click update post okay so hopefully if we visit the site And there we go. Thank goodness for that, or I would have looked very silly. So what you've actually managed to do is to embed and add video to your WordPress blog. And as you see, to see how to create simple affiliate redirect links, press play in the video below. So we press play, just for a second. Okay. And that's just how simple it can be to add video to your blog. It can be YouTube, could be Viddler. Maybe that you want to embed your own videos very shortly uh, to your blog. But again, just very quickly to show you how it's done. And in the next tutorials, we will get to look at adding AdSense and affiliate banners and also maybe even a subscribe box from Aweber as that's the autoresponder that I use currently and I'll see you hopefully very very shortly in the next tutorial.